Climate change, pollution, and melting glaciers. What can one individual do? Filmmaker Abby Barnes' story with her own images in her own words. My name is Abby, I'm 18 years old and I live in the southwest of England. I've always had a, a very deep connection with the natural world around me and very much been aware of my position within it. It wasn't until I was about 13 though that I began to be made aware of all of the different issues, environmental issues that are going on around the world and it made me feel very angry. I could not comprehend why anybody would want to destroy what in my eyes was a priceless beauty for the sake of business and I felt I had to speak up about it and I started to do that through the use of film. There are two main projects I'm particularly proud of. The first is my short film about marine debris called Save Our Oceans. I produced this when I was 15, 16. I'm talking about plastic. Save Our Oceans! I arranged a beach cleanup. I sought to involve my local community. I got news of the issue out onto my local radio stations, into my local newspapers. And I really just tried to get as many people involved and aware of the issue as possible. So the second project I'm most proud of is my climb up Mount Kilimanjaro in July 2014. And we were making a film about global climate change and the effect of global climate change on the mountain and the people around it. Global climate change is what it says it is. It's global, it's, it's worldwide atmospheric alteration. And every single person is playing their part, no matter how insignificant it is. In the last 20 years, 70% of Mount Kilimanjaro's glaciers have disappeared, gone completely. After gaining a greater understanding of the issue, I really feel that it is big, but it is controllable if we all make small changes to our everyday lifestyles. If you choose to leave the tap on whilst doing your teeth, you could indirectly be affecting somebody on the other side of the planet. How? Well, our Earth is immensely interconnected, more so than I think we could ever begin to comprehend. And if we mess with those systems, which we are, there are going to be negative consequences. But the thing that really motivates me most, that really drives me on, is when I receive feedback. When people come to me personally and they're completely hooked on that subject and they want to do everything they can to help. And that really drives me forward because I feel that modern day society has a kind of a complacency, an assumption that we can continue the way we're going forever. But we are not living a sustainable way of life and that's just not possible. Time is kind of running out. <laughs> I feel that the greatest threat we face as a species is ourselves if we continue to ignore the things that we cannot see. Global climate change, plastics in the ocean. We need to act now in order to ensure that the future generations and that my generation can continue to access this beautiful natural wonder around us. It's our life system, it's our life support and without it, we just cannot exist. You can be taking action against all of these issues on our earth and you are responsible, I am responsible, we are all responsible. Yes.